Hey Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Let's see, lots of energy. The Chariot and the Knight of Cups. Going towards what it is that you love. All right, let's see what this is. Or who this is about. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you've been investing your time and energy and you're waiting to see results. Definitely with the Four of Swords. This is where you just have to see what happens, what unfolds. All right, because there is some hidden information here, hidden, hinted, hidden energy. Just something that's not clear. We have the five of pentacles as well. Six of pentacles, wow. And then another five, five of cups. the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Cups. So this... Mm, oh, wow. Three of Swords. So this is going to take all of the emotional intelligence and the compassion that you have inside of you. Yeah, it's like this energy of, of giving too much. But what I do like is the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like everything that you've given, all that you've overgiven, it'll come back to you like tenfold. Two, two, two. Whether it's money, energy, time, your health. It'll all come back. And then look, wow. Four of Wands. That's about being happy, having a commitment, celebrating life, you know, weddings, things like that, parties. Knight of Cups. Again, that creativity, that romance of life, just going towards what makes you happy and the nine of cups so it could be that you're ending a relationship here and that just hasn't been right with the three of swords and the four of wands and moving into a time of your life where you're completely happy on your own like you're refocusing on your own happiness or Whatever pain is associated with a relationship dynamic will change and, you know, be satisfactory, like what you want it to be, you know, what you expect it to be. But it does take some time, some rest, some waiting as things reveal itself. And it will be hard. You know, there is worry. Who's this King of Cups? We have the Devil. So Fears, Shadow, Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands alone is someone who's confident, resilient. Paired with the Devil, which is your shadow, can speak of addiction. To me, this like, ugh. this is like that narcissistic person that's just only about them. Confirmation. 
And this is being at a crossroads with that kind of energy and, and not tolerating it. It's a hard choice that you're going to have to make, Pisces. Hmm. Because that's the thing. You're the host. So whoever this is, whether they're a Capricorn, a fire sign, or a water sign, is they're feeding off of you. And this is the part where you're allowing it because you know it now. Maybe before you didn't, but now you do. Okay, so now you're choosing this. I know, that's harsh, I know. But this is the part where you can stand your ground and say, hey, no, you're not allowed to vampire me anymore. And that's when things will change and there'll be a new beginning. And it's probably something that this other person doesn't expect. Oh, because Pisces is so nice. Yeah. Page of Swords. They're watching you. Oh, hold on. Let me just look at this real quick. What was this about? Meh. Okay. <clears throat> yep. This is all truth. Ace of Swords. And you know what? As much as we want the truth, we want things to be clear, it's hard. Because we don't, you know, we don't want to find out that the person that we love is a narcissist. We're like, oh, but they were so great. Mm. And I, you know, I don't like to use that word too often, narcissist, because it's just, you know, how words get blown out of proportion. But this is someone who really just wanted your energy, using you to do their own work. And this doesn't have to be romantic. Friends, workplace, parents, you know, family things, children even, my goodness. There's a sudden change. Shaken foundations with this tower. And you have a choice now. Do you stay or do you go? Do you do everything that, how they've been, how it's been? Are you happy with that? Or are you not? Okay. Because yeah, it's been heavy. A lot of people's energy, ugh, gross. On your back, you carrying other people's problems for them. That's a no. Okay. So with the Page of Pentacles, you know, this is that, that opportunity to do things differently, to let things end. You know, if, if you've put in effort into something and you have no show for it, I mean, I don't know about you, but how many of you would go to your work every day if you weren't getting paid? Okay. <laughs> and payment comes in all forms. It's not just money. Okay. You give, what do you get back? And I know it's not about that only. But for you, Pisces, it needs to be. <laughs> No more overgiving. I do it too. I'm not just harpooning you. I'm harpooning myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, oh no, I'm doing it again. I'm Mother Teresa-ing to someone who does not deserve it. Okay. So, Eight of Cups. It's about abandonment. Oh, and what are we abandoning? <laughs> King of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, lovers. Yeah, you got to choose, Pisces. Also, we have temperance here. So, 
you know, the ancestors are watching out for you. So I feel like all of this is coming up so you know what to do. It's hard though, because you've invested so much time already, so much energy already. It's like, ah, oh, do I break up now? Or do I end this situation now? Actually, yeah, it's okay. It's better now than 20 years from now. You see so many couples, I don't know about you, but I do. You know, they're, I don't know, they're in like their 50s, mid 50s. And they're together, but they don't hardly like each other. That's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. And it's creating anxiety. You know, like if this, if your loved one was going through something like this, what would you say to them? They were with someone who just took and, and they were exhausted. You would tell them to break up. Two, to distance themselves too. 11-11. So why is it so hard for us to take our own advice? Yeah, it's hard. Oh, it's going to take a lot of courage, a lot of strength. But you know what? You can do it. And you know what? When you stand your ground, when you tell someone, hey, this isn't working for me, if they are a quality person, they will work on that and look at themselves. But if not, they're just going to blame you and, oh, it's your fault. Okay, fine. Bye. Because you're doing the work. They're not. At this point. So yeah, Pisces. I I know. It's the same message. You need confirmation, just dump them. <laughs> Send a text. It's fine. Or just put yourself up on a dating app. Screenshot it and send that to them. <laughs> okay, that's really mean, but sometimes that's how it has to go. Yeah, I know, maybe not that severe, but this isn't, you know, this doesn't feel good. This isn't what you want. You know, it's like you've put in so much work and you, you thought that you were getting something that was what you wanted, but you're seeing now that it's not. Like the mask has come off. You see. And you don't need to put up with it. You don't. And I mean, if you have to do it slowly, you slowly take all of your stuff out of their place so they don't notice it. And next thing you know, all your stuff's out. And then you're out. 1313. 13. So... Mm. I don't want to leave it at this. Okay, let's see. This might, I mean, it's pretty clear. Okay, what else? Yeah, it's like your, your ancestors want you to have a fresh start somewhere. Inspiration, idealism, and caution. 14. Caution, inspiration, idealism. You know that idealized version of someone that's not real? Romance is here. Oh, and then manipulation. Yeah, this is what they do. And, you know, that what I don't even know the psychological terms. Feel free to put them in the comment area. Um, it's like where these weird games are played in order to keep you stuck, making you feel bad that you did something wrong. It's this, all these weird psychological things. Ask your friends. 
hey, if you were in my situation, how would you perceive this? Because Pisces, you can rose-colored glasses anything. Okay. But we need to get you into a safe place where you have someone that is devoted to you. And not just saying that they are, and then their actions say nothing. Yeah, you need to be appreciated. I don't think you are. And they're probably like, oh, Pisces needs to appreciate me. Really? That's that weird, like, narcissistic bully thing. I don't, is that gaslighting? I don't know, but it doesn't feel good. Like, it makes me sick to my stomach and I have a headache right now. Like, watch, say you stop reaching out, would they reach out to you? And I mean not to just hook up. Hey, how are you? Or do you get any of that? And nothing. You know what I mean? Criticism. Enterprise acquisition. So I feel like they're probably upset that you are doing really well in your career and they're probably not. So they feel threatened. They may not even like your psychic gifts, but they act like they, they're they on board. But really, they, they're not. They're just using you. They're probably asking you for st stock picks or gambling picks so they can make money off of your knowledge, things like that. So yeah, detachment, egotism. Ugh. So if you are detaching from an egomaniac, AKA narcissist, and I mean, we need a little bit of that in us so that we get out of bed and we do things. But when it's overtaking us, Ooh. Oh, gosh. They're trying to seduce you by breadcrumbing because they don't want you to leave. But what have they been doing this whole time? Nothing. You know, and it's an earth sign energy, right? Yeah, and fire sign even. Same energy. And it doesn't have to be their sun sign. They can have other aspects. <clears throat> Let me Aries here. Um, oh yeah, look, assertion and submission. Aries, Pisces. Oh, look. You're in a cage. Oh, but it's gold. Yeah. They're slaying dragons. What if they're slaying you? Maybe you need to slay them. They're the dragon. Generosity. Yeah, you give. Oh, and then there's bluff. They say they're going to give, but they don't. It's just to dangle that carrot in front of you. Gross. You dump them. Okay, bye. I dump, 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 dump them. <laughs> distance yourself from them. Okay, maybe you're not dumping them, but just distance yourself and see what they do. Do they reach out? How do they reach out? What do they say? Just put that in your back pocket. Oh, you know what? I'm busy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. I'm doing some stuff. Don't tell them what you're doing. Just say you're busy. All right, Pisces, I love you. <laughs> Great reading. You can do this. Okay, we'll talk soon. I love you.